Let's talk about centroid calculation. We're going to go through the integral method on how we can calculate the centroid of a planar area. In this case, we're going to have a planar area. This is going to be a triangle that has a base of 6, a height of 2. It's defined by a function uh, x divided by 3. So we have the mathematical function and we have the limits or the size of our planar area. So to calculate the centroid, we need to go back to our fundamental centroid equation. Centroid is x bar and y bar. In this case, I've set up the coordinate system such that it's a, uh, the, the coordinate system origin is at the point of our triangle on the left hand side. So our x bar is going to be the integral of x dA divided by integral dA. y bar is going to be integral y uh, dA over integral dA. Remember, this simplifies down to q, uh, the x bar is qy, which is our first moment of area, divided by our total area. And then we also have y bar, which is uh, qx, which is our first moment of area, divided by our total area. So we need to remember those are our fundamentals. But we're going to use this integration method to solve for the centroid here, x bar. So first thing we need to do is come up with our dA, this dA which is in both our numerator and our denominator. So in this case, there's multiple ways that we can set up our dA. We can make a vertical dA, we can make a horizontal dA. In this case, to calculate x bar, we're going to make a vertical dA. So in this case, it is going to look like this. And it's going to be at some distance x is with that location right there. So this is our dA. Now the dA is a differential area. Now we need to, this all is calculus review at this point. So to set up our dA, we need to define what is the size or what's the volume of our dA. So we need to say dA is going to be equal to the base times the height of that. So in this case, the base of this, the thickness, we're going to call that dx. So the width is dx times the height. What is the height of this dA? The, and the height there goes from the x-axis all the way up to our function line. So in this case, the height is going to be equal to the function. So here we have x divided by 3. So now we have our dA defined. So now we can go through and do our integrations here. So when we do the integral, this is our qy. So our qy is equal to the integral of x dA. So let's rewrite this. Integral x and then our dA, which is x over 3 dx. x over 3 dx. So now we have our, our equation. Now, the only thing that we don't have here is that we need to put our limits of integration. Now, in this case, we are using dx, dx, dx. So we're going to integrate along the x-axis. So we go from 0 all the way to 6. So our limit of integrations is now going to be 0 to 6 there. So now let's rewrite this. We're going to simplify this down. This is going to be x squared divided by 3. I'm going to pull the 3 out front because it is a constant integrating from 0 to 6, x squared dx. So now we have our integration. So now we just need to perform this integration. So now we just need to integrate x squared. What do we get when we integrate our x squared? We get x cubed over uh, x cubed over 3. And we, this is all multiplied by our one-third because that was out front. So when we integrate, we get x through, uh, cubed divided by 3. And uh, in this case, we are going to evaluate that from 0 to 6. So when we evaluate this, so we really get x cubed divided by 9. Uh, so we get x cubed divided by 9, evaluated from 0 to 6. And if we plug in our 6, we get uh, 6 cubed divided by 9 minus, uh, here we have uh, 0. When we plug 0 in here, we get 0. Or we get, in and this. we get 24 inches cubed is actually the units that we have on there now. So that is our QY. And now we need to come up with our area. So our area total 
a t we could do the integral of da and come up with the area or in this case we're just going to use the uh, equation for a triangle um, although uh, <clears throat> we could do it either way so one half base base is six height is two 12 divided by two is six inches squared so now to come up with our x bar x bar we plug this in so we get 24 inches cubed divided by six inches squared and we end up with in this case four inches that's how we get to our integration method for our x bar we can do the same thing for y bar so y bar here uh, the one thing that is different with y bar and uh, I'm just I won't go through the whole calculation but I want to go and set it up we can do we can use the same da we can say use the same dx but our d our q x is going to look a little bit different because it's the integral of y da and so in this case this is the integral of y now in this case y is the y to the centroid of our da okay so we can go up to our uh, centroid of our da and uh, essentially this is in the center so this is really y divided by two y divided by two our total height or the total height divided by two we can then take our function which is x divided by three or one half of that so one half x divided by 3 is our y our da is still the same up here as this and this is x divided by 3 dx and we're going to evaluate this again we're integrating in the x direction limits of integration 0 to 6 so now this is the only difference here but we can do the y bar um, area total is going to be the same we can go through this calculus to calculate this all out um, but uh, it's basically the same operation here so again integration method for calculating the centroid of a triangle